Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over Bezerra's safety features for when the machine has low water or no water. I want to give you some details on this particular brand of machines which has been very reliable and one of the reasons is, one of the reasons again is because they have some safety features when the machine is either low on water or has no water in the reservoir. So we're gonna give you some of those details to make you understand, but first thing is the Bezerra machines, basically their HX machines and dual boiler, have sensors which basically require some mineral content so that electricity can pass through the water. So it goes from one sensor to the other sensor, five volts of electricity need to pass through. It is a very sensitive machine if you're using purified, distilled, or uh, reverse osmosis water. And if you're using purified, distilled, or reverse osmosis water, the machine may seem like it's not functioning correctly and shutting down. Or you run the risk that the machine can overfill if it's a plumbed in machine and basically have a lot of water leakage all over your countertops, your floor. So we're, we're creating this video so you have a good understanding on how Bezerra machines operate. Not all their models will have it, like their hobby line uh, will probably not have this, but they're basically their heat exchangers and their dual boilers will have one or both pieces of this technology so that there's enough water in the reservoir or and or the boiler and why does it make it better in the machine the end result is less damage to the pump also less damage to the heating element and with that in mind uh, the useful life increases as well as the reliability of the machine so let's take a quick look inside and we'll go over uh, one of the things to basically show you why the little water tank light goes off. So on the BZ16, we basically have our on off switch here and we have our power and then we have our low water indicator. And this indicator, when there's enough water in the reservoir or and in the boiler, this light will re remain illuminated. When there is uh, low water or no water in the reservoir, this light will shut off or if there is no water in the boiler, internal boiler, or it can't send electricity between both points in the boiler or both points, meaning sensors in the reservoir, this light will turn off. Again, this light can turn off because there's distilled water or purified water or reverse osmosis water, as well as no water. So that's basically when you see this light going off, it's one of those four things. Now let's go take a look inside. So one of the sensors or sensor areas is the water reservoir. And in the reservoir, which gets to be pulled out, there is a bolt on this side and a bolt on this side. And they make contact with the inside here. There's two metal uh, protrusions. And basically five volts need to pass through from one sensor to the other. Right now, the water level is ab above those two bolts. But as soon as the water level goes below the two bolts, then that light that I pointed out turns off for the water reservoir. Now, if there's purified water or distilled water or reverse osmosis water, the electricity will not be able to pass through. That's why you need some good minerals in your water. You also need the good minerals to make a really good extraction. The only two minerals you don't want are magnesium and calcium. But using one of those waters will kind of fake the machine that there's no water in the tank when there really is. So that's one area to look at. And you just heard a click, that's because it's sent five volts of electricity. So that's really important there. Now on the BZ16 and some of their other machines, not all of them might have this, uh, the majority probably do, but there are two uh, wires going into the top of the boiler. One of them is the max refill. So the max refill, what that does is tells the pump to turn on when, um, and open the solenoid valve for the boiler so it fills the water up to the level of the sensor and it's basically a rod that goes in. So if I disconnect that one wire, 
and break the five volts, because the five volts can't pass through, now you hear the boiler trying to refill. So, but we're already at the max, so we kind of fake the machine there. Now, on some machines, if that water's distilled, or RO, or purified, this will, con will not be able to send electricity through that water, and it will overfill the steam boiler, or the heat exchange boiler, or on a dual boiler, the steam boiler, and water may come out of the safety valve, and it'll just keep on flushing out, flushing out, flushing out. So with models that don't have the minimum, we call this the minimum, this is the maximum, which fills the boiler up to the top, this potentially could overfill the boiler and come out. And we have seen that with customers, especially when the water's too pure. Now the minimum, this is so that the heating element uh, only turns on when the minimum amount of water in the boiler fills to the point that the heating element is covered with water. So with the minimum, if you disconnect the wire so you don't have the five volts, we just heard the click, the heating element was turned off because now the machine thinks there's no, not enough water to hit the minimum to cover the heating element in the boiler. This protects the boiler, uh, protects the heating element in there as well as the pump and it doesn't allow the overfill. So this is actually a nice additional feature on most of the Bezerra heat exchange and dual boiler machines that you have a minimum uh, level of water. And if I reconnect, now you heard the click, that means the heating arm is turned on, the light turned back on, and this is a way that we test the machines uh, to make sure that the min, the max works, but if you're using purified or distilled or reverse osmosis water, it can't get the five volt electricity through the wire, through the rod, through the water, because it's too pure, through the other sensor. That other sensor is actually the boiler wall. So it needs to get past the electricity through. And if it doesn't, it shuts it down. So these are the two areas uh, where uh, Bezerra has put into their uh, system for safety to protect the heating element, the pump, the boiler, and a lot of components because the machine thinks it's out of water. But on the flip side, if you're using water that's too pure, distilled, or reverse osmosis, it's gonna think there's no water in there. So some customers do have confusion with that. And one of the areas to help is with a pinch of salt in the water so the five volts can pass here uh, through the reservoir. But you need to get the salty water into the boiler. And in some cases, when customers first get a machine, uh, what happens is it works. Uh, and usually because we test them, we have some of our own water in there. But over three, four, five, six weeks, and sometimes three months, that purified water starts building up on the inside. And then there, uh, what happens is the machine starts shutting down because of that, uh, those types of water. So uh, if the machine is older, what can happen after a few years, if you have lime scale causing minerals like lime scale um, or magnesium and calcium, the rods in here will get all fouled up and will not read correctly. Um, or you get lime scale in a bolts, which we rarely see, but we have seen lime scale on those two sensors that are inside, which are the rods. And once they're coated, the five volts can't pass through once they're coated. So we have seen that on older machines where it tricks out the machine that it's basically uh, not having enough water in the boiler. Now the last point on uh, the machine with the safety features, say you are using uh, water with minerals and the water tank is not uh, illuminating the water tank light. So there is a possibility uh, when you first receive the machine, a wire got loose on the inside, either the low water sensor wire or something happened in the reservoir uh, maybe the reservoir cracked in shipping, that's a possibility, or the wire, the green wire on the underside of the machine where it connects into the brain unit may have disconnected. It is a rare possibility, but a possibility. Hasn't happened so far yet because Bezerra does build great machines, but that's just the last possibility that may have happened. But if you disconnect the wire here or remove the tank and it's showing the lights going off, then it's working. Uh, again, change your water if it's RO, distilled, uh, or purified. So we are glad that you made it through this far in the video. We are happy that you watched it. If you can, give us a thumbs up down below. Any questions or comments you can post down below. Uh, please subscribe. We appreciate that. 
And if you like, you can get more information on the BZ16 on our website. You can also ask questions through our Q&A tab that's on our website. And if you have specific questions about other Bezerra machines, we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.